Welcome to Win 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to analyze the two input NOR gate to find the switching threshold of its inverter equivalent. As we have seen, for a two input NAND gate, we'll follow the same phenomena. On the left hand side in the first column, you see my CMOS inverter. In the second column, you see my two input NOR gate. As we discussed during the time of the NAND gate, all my NMOS transistors have the same mobility and the same thickness of side. So is the case with my PMOS transistor, the same mobility of poles and the same thickness of side. And the W by L of all the NMOSs are same and W by L of all the PMOSs are also the same. We saw that in the series and parallel law, if the W by L is same and if the transistors are connected in series, then the equivalent of that is going to be W by L, which is divided by N, where N is the number of transistors. So W by L series is equal to W by NL, where N is the number of transistors. In this case, the series transistors are nothing but two PMOSes. So the number of transistors are two. That means W by 2L. And because it's a PMOS, in the inverter equivalent, we have to find KP equivalent and we can easily write K is directly proportional to W by L or we can substitute KP in place of W by L for PMOS which is nothing but W by L is replaced by KP divided by 2 which is nothing but my KP equivalent. Similarly we have also seen in that law that if the transistors are connected in parallel W by L parallel and if W by L is same for both the parallel transistors or s number of parallel transistors then i will get n times w by l here n number of transistors is 2 that is twice w by l w by l we can easily replace by k they are directly proportional as mobility cox and all that we have discussed is same so this is nothing but twice kn in my inverter equivalent circuit my kn equivalent will be nothing but twice kn so with this now we need to find the switching threshold the expression of which is written above switching threshold is nothing but threshold voltage plus square root of 1 by kr into vdd plus vtp upon 1 plus square root of 1 by kr we already discussed during nand that kr just needs to be substituted by kr equivalent kr is nothing but kn by kp so kr equivalent is nothing but kn equivalent by kp equivalent Let's quickly find KR equivalent. KN equivalent is nothing but twice KN. And KP equivalent is nothing but KP by 2, which is nothing but KP and 2 goes up, which is nothing but 4 KN by KP. So let's substitute KR equivalent in place of KR in this equation. And let's find out the final switching threshold for a 2 input NOR gate when we draw its inverter equivalent. So let's quickly do that. Switching threshold equal to threshold voltage of NMOS plus 1 by square root of 1 by KR and KR equivalent is nothing but we have just seen 4 KN by KP. You can easily write that as KP by 4 KN into VDD plus VTP upon 1 plus square root of KP by 4 KN. How did we get this? We just found out KR equivalent equal to, yes, that's correct, 4 KN by KP. And we substituted KR equivalent in the value of KR in the expression with double star. Let's simplify this and apply the final step. Switching threshold equal to threshold voltage plus 1 by 2 square root of 1 by kr into vdd plus vtp upon 1 plus again i will take the 4 out of the square root so that's 1 by 2 square root of 1 by kr so this is the expression for switching threshold when i do a two input non gate and make its inverter equivalent by finding the corresponding value of KN equivalent and KP equivalent. Hope you have understood. Stay tuned for further clips and thank you.